Hi everyone. Hello. Hi. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> we just wanted to come on and say hi. We've had a bit of a break from YouTube. It's yep. been a couple of months now. And we do want to apologise for not being here on YouTube. But in all honesty, we haven't really had much to say. Mm. Other than the fact that we've just been in the UK trying to get things organised. Yeah. Which has taken a lot longer than we hoped. Definitely. We have got some news now, finally. And what we're going to do first, though, before we share that news with you, is that we are going to bring you up to speed with everything we've done in the last couple of months which hasn't been a lot but it's been a bit of a chat so we've had a little bit of a chat um, we've done a couple of videos for our patrons and what we're going to do is we're going to release those onto YouTube over the yep. next couple of days and then sometime in the middle of next week towards the end of next week we'll put a brand new video up just to keep you right up to date of where we are at this moment in time um, yeah so that's what we're going to do so here we have a video um, that we shared maybe a month ago to our Patreons. Yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll share another video exactly like that, <laughs> but a little bit more up to date uh, in the next few days, and then we'll bring you up to speed, right yeah. up right up to date. So yeah. here we go. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to our Pips cast. I hope everyone's all right. Hey, you're all right, Maxie, you're all right. Good lad. <sighs> We thought we would have a catch up with you today. Mm. For us, it feels like ages since we've sat in front of a camera. It does, yeah. Um, it's a bit odd. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been quite a while, I think, since we've sat in front of a camera. Um, pardon me. Yeah, I think uh, this is just, uh, <clears throat> I think as we said on the last video, can't even remember very much about what we said on the last video. It seems like such a long time ago. It feels like months ago literally to me it feels like months ago Does it? i don't know wow. whether that's just because it's been a whirlwind yeah it, it has been a bit of a whirlwind yeah, so as you know we're now back in the uk um mm. we are in our house yeah. where um our two youngest children that they still live in the family home yeah, and rent it here. from us yeah um <clears throat> it's a little bit overcrowded yeah. <laughs> um, so there are now five of us living in this two bedroom two house. bedroom house it's uh it's a bit odd but the so our middle daughter and our son and his partner live here and mm -hmm. they're the guys that pay rent which help us extend our budget yeah. so that we can yeah. live our Portuguese life yeah um, you know that the house has been having some issues and do they know the house yes of yes, course that's yes, why we've with come the here roof. yeah with the <clears throat> roof yeah. yeah and a few other jobs yeah um, so yeah. things were sort of compounded we were already organized and booked to come here knowing that we had the issue with the roof to resolve so we were quite happy to come back for an extended period of time mm. to get jobs mm -hmm. and work to pay for the roof because we we don't have the money just sitting in the bank to no, to replace to the roof yeah um <laughs> so at, as we were getting organized to come back jade contacted us and said there's a huge bulge in the kitchen ceiling so the kitchen being on the ground floor, the bathroom being above it. Mm. Yeah, you can guess. Um, there was a <coughs> leak also in the bathroom. Um, it sounds like this house is an absolute disaster. It's not. <laughs> it's just. It's, it's just just the way things go. Unfortunately, it's honestly just things. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, it's just things. <clears throat> yeah. So it's just things that it have could happened. happen to anyone. Yeah, and it it's just plumbing. Does. Quite honestly, yeah. it's honestly just plumbing. I've never understood. I've, I'm not a plumber, obviously, and uh, and you I, didn't do the plumbing. I didn't do the plumbing, but I never understand <laughs> plumbing. I never understand um, why. I don't know. It's kind of like why people put running why, water on the first floor. Why of would a they building? put running water up there? <laughs> You're never the... ever going to live in a block of flats, are you? <laughs> no. Why would they put running water above your head, which is connected by pipes which don't even stick together in a lot of cases. They just literally just go in and yeah. hold themselves together. 
but people put running water through that. <laughs> so like, I never really understood it. Yeah. Um, I've never been uh, a fan of plumbing or uh, or an advocate of it at all. I understand we need it. I get it. Yeah. But it always surprised anyway, me. But yeah. anyway, but I think you jumped there forward. Was an, no, the, the kids found there was an issue with the plumbing in the bathroom. Okay, right. They got that resolved, but obviously we now also have an issue with a damaged kitchen ceiling to resolve. Yes, okay. When the plumber came to fix the bathroom, he pretty much had to get in behind a bath, which, as in most people's um, bathrooms, the bath was hemmed in by walls on two sides mm. um, the water had gone underneath the flooring so we had to rip all of the flooring out um, <laughs> so we we pretty much came back to a bit of a disaster zone um, i just don't know that's another thing i don't understand about plumbing or plumbers how they manage to get into these tiny little spaces just to do these these, these jobs repairs these repairs it's amazing mm, yeah. yeah i've got yeah. big respect for plumbers in that respect yeah but I think you've jumped on because you wanted to tell well, people Well, yeah, about I was them. just saying what a, okay. what a whirlwind and a disaster oh. it was. So oh, that was okay. the situation that we came back into, okay. were coming back into we're coming before back. we'd even left Portugal. Mm -hmm. So we, we got organised. We have travelled very light. And yes. we had our Euro Tunnel booking booked for early on the Wednesday morning. Yeah. wasn't it yeah. it was sort this was of a um, week ago this was yes, wasn't it a week yesterday a week yesterday and um yeah. so we had ourselves all organized and we set off and in comparison to our last journey where we brought max and we went on the ferry and we had such i think well i had a very uncomfortable journey didn't enjoy it at all hated the fact of where max was the conditions mm. that they were in um made Sorry. it very stressful this made journey stressful. was lovely yeah. we traveled in our own car yeah um the really lucky thing the good thing you stuck to your guns and wanted that bigger car was because mm. you can take all of the back seats out yeah. so we basically ended up it became like a, a van um camper van yeah. yeah so we took all of the back seats out we put um our blow you up beds in that yeah. we've had for ages and our bedding mm -hmm. and our suitcase you know traveled light but it became our camper which meant that we could just drive as long as we wanted to mm -hmm. between us we stopped when we wanted to stop and the journey was so much better <laughs> you're laughing at me what's the matter it's just the anxiety of it all <laughs> looking back and thinking it wasn't anxious at all actually i'm just kind no. of going how do we no i think wasn't. you were anxious about i was just the that, journey i was anxious about the journey but i suppose mm -hmm. that was because it was two days of driving and that's not something that anybody really looks forward to two days of driving but honestly yeah but comparing it to the um the ferry journey the ferry journey it was us actually be well because we were in control yeah. of it as well we we're in control of timings as well which was the main thing for us we didn't really have we had a destination we had to be at the at the terminal for the train i think maybe a lot of people might not know about the train as well yeah. the train there's <clears throat> euro tunnel um people in england will, will get it and people in france will get it i suppose but yeah. the euro tunnel goes underneath the channel the the, the, the english channel the english which channel. divides the yeah. uk from mainland europe yeah um mm. it so. sets off from calais yeah. in northern france and it's literally you drive your vehicle onto a cargo train and then the train whips <laughs> you through a tunnel and you pop under the out, sea yeah under the sea under the busiest shipping channel in the world and wow. you pop out um in dover in dover i think it's dover or, or, or thereabouts yeah, yeah, yeah. Thereabouts. you know yeah. southern england southern england coast. yeah yeah and, it's amazing um, yeah. yeah and and you book a specific time slot yeah. but really within that time slot you, you maybe book an hour and they have three trains that mm. run most hours I like we so. have about three trains an mm. hour so Amazing. they understand that people are going to have things happen on their journey or they're going to arrive early 
because they're organised like us or they're going to get stuck in traffic and they might arrive a little bit late. So they usually give you like, because they have those three bookings an hour, they usually give you like a, a window of opportunity to arrive and that was another reason that we booked for really early in the morning yeah. in freezing cold January because mm. we thought if we get there early we'll get on an earlier one, on. Yeah. if there's an issue we'll get there a little bit late, yeah. there'll still be space to get on the later one, they let us on. and that's what we did. We got there and got an hour early but yeah, <clears throat> we so did. we set off on the Monday, Poor it was on the Monday morning didn't we, so we, we did. set off from Portugal, come on, come. so that's a week ago, <laughs> Monday, so a couple of days before, okay. and we set off early in the morning, uh, but first we had to get Max had his, to get this one, yeah, his perfect timing. We had yes. to get Max um, his uh, worming. worming tablet. It's part of the rules for bringing Max into England. It is. Uh, yeah, we had to bring him in. So we had to get his worming tablet first. So it was a 10 o'clock appointment on Monday morning for Max's vet. Uh, got his worming tablet, um, which then allowed us to. He's already got his passport, his Portuguese yep, passport. Portuguese so that makes through. things so much easier to start with. <laughs> But he still needed that worming tablet to get into the UK. We got that sorted. And then from 10 o'clock, about half 10, when we were finished yep, at the we vet, just set off. we're on our way. And we arrived in Calais um, two days later on the evening. Like, you know, I was going to say before the tunnel. Yes, yes. Yeah. The, the night so we, before we were due to get the tunnel, yeah, we, we pulled found, into an air that we knew yeah, to... We, um, have a couple hours sleep didn't we yeah we pulled into an air an air is kind of like um a free camp spot yeah free toilet camp spot. break spot yeah um, well you say toilet break spot but this particular yeah. most to most airs are really good in france they're really set up for people traveling yeah. through france it's excellent so this air particularly elaine wanted to choose this one we said we'll stop at this one it's very close to calais about mm -hmm. half an hour drive so in the morning we only had half an hour drive to get to the train yeah um and it's a really good one because it has a toilet and all of those yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is, as soon as we got there um, the, toilets were locked. the toilets were locked yeah okay <laughs> so, <laughs> that's fine okay Cross your legs. So the first point of, yeah, so as soon as we got to Calais, thinking we're in, we've got it sorted, we're only half an hour from the Channel Tunnel now. Okay, we set up camp there anyway, we were the only ones there, weren't we, overnight? Apart from a couple of, because um, a lot of them also cater to like um, the HGV drivers. Oh yeah, And they have couple, separate... Yeah. Um, yeah. big parking spaces that separate out like your cars yeah. and your HGV drivers. HGV, yeah, that's right, yeah. <coughs> the only trouble with this, well, the clues were there. We've stayed at this air before, because as it is really close to Calais, it's really yeah. handy. But it's kind of high up on a mountain, or I would say high up on a mountain. Yeah, you know, it's, it's up. It's not sort of in a valley. A lot of them are in valleys and surrounded by trees, which is very, very nice. This yeah. is kind of a little bit higher up and there's no, and it's quite exposed. And you can tell beautiful it's quite- Beautiful views. Well, it's beautiful. They've got the big um, windmills, you know, the turbines. Yes. That, you know, they've got those up there. So that's how kind of windy and cold you can imagine it is up there. So that that night, well, that was be the second night at Calais um, that we slept in the, uh, in the car, camper, was flipping freezing. <laughs> It was so cold, honestly. I don't know if it was in the minuses. I think it was probably close to in the minuses, actually. Yeah. 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 Um, sort of the minus, uh, minus one or minus two, what, centigrade? Yes. Yeah, minus one or two centigrade, something like that. It was very, very chilly. Um, we woke up, I think, about four o'clock. Well, we didn't sleep particularly well. We went to sleep about eight o'clock so that we could get ourselves covered, you know, and uh, snuggled, snuggled in. in. Yeah, and try to get a little bit warm. It was uh, lovely and warm when we were all snuggled in. Yeah, it was warm. But yeah, but then the, the night yeah, came. Because we went to bed at eight p.m. We were awake at four. So, we yeah. woke up at four o'clock. But I said, right, that's it. I'm done. It's too cold. I'm waking up. <laughs> we woke up at four o'clock in the morning. I can't do this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't it? Yeah. Well, but we it was were, fine. We were ready for waking, yeah, I think, anyway, we by that point, you know. But it and was. I was ready for the loo. <laughs> exactly, yeah. That was it. And then that meant we could have a, like a leisurely breakfast. What did we have for breakfast that morning? Cereal. Cereal. Nice warm cereal. Lovely. We had coffee. That was nice because we had a little coffee machine with us and things like that. We were quite well organised from a camper van perspective, Absolutely. weren't we? Yeah, we for a couple of nights' travel, you know. 
So then that was really good. So we woke up on that morning, on that freezing morning, had our breakfast, took our time a little bit, didn't we? Yeah. And then we said, we're only half an hour from Calais. Let's get ourselves moving. I think we yeah. probably set off about seven, I suppose, and we must have done. I can't really remember now. No, we were early because we were early getting to. Were we the... earlier? Because we got there. Oh, that was right. Because yeah. the pet thing didn't open until six, oh, yeah, and the... we were the first ones. Through. We were the first ones with the pet thing. Yeah, because <coughs> you have to check Max in at the pet reception. Yep, they have to scan his chip. Scan And they have yeah. to check his passport to make sure that his rabies is fully up to date. Yeah. His other vaccinations are up to date, and that he's had that worm and tablet. Darren mentioned. Yeah. Um, um, at least 48 hours beforehand and we were just oh, on yeah, the the guy be... never mentioned it to me but he was sort of going yeah counting the, they do counting honestly. the hours so he was like oh well by the time you get on the train and get into England yeah you're just going to be that 48 hours early um, of when he'd had his worm and tablet it has to be 48 we can travel what is it 48 hours after he's given that is that yes, right between wow between 48 and um, 72 yeah you have a window so he has to take his tablet and then you can't travel for t or you can't enter england for two days for two days right. but then you can't be any more than five days because it could have then cleared everything out and he could have been reinfected by wow. then it's so just, i didn't even realize yeah. that you didn't mention that at the time it was literally but but it wouldn't have been a disaster because we no, would have just, they would then have just said oh yeah you just you get have on to the hang next on for one two or hours you have to whatever. wait wait around for a bit so, yeah, yeah yeah so yeah so we got to yeah so that was it so we got max into his pet reception he got his uh he got scanned and everything was brilliant yeah uh, it was so good as well just traveling <laughs> it was just like okay we're just driving yeah, so i'll just he had like this whole bed just to lie on um as soon as we ever yeah. slowed down or stopped then he would just, his little head would pop up and he'd be like oh are we having a break yeah <laughs> Mm. Um, he's just yeah. there he's just so, there I keep looking at him because I think he wants to go out but I think he wants to go out because he thinks we're going out yeah yeah he's been out a lot this morning so he's okay yeah. so anyway so that was it so then we got on the channel tunnel got through to England which was brilliant I mean, it takes about half an hour well about 35 minutes isn't it they say 35 minutes yeah yes. so we got on that at, I think it was <clears> 17 <throat> minutes past eight on the Wednesday morning that I think we were about. one hour early though. That's what so we, we were got supposed the to be. Oh yeah. And because of the yeah, time difference, the time so mainland difference. Europe yeah, and France true. and Spain is one hour ahead of UK and Portugal. Mm. So Portugal, even though it's mainland Europe, shares a time zone with the UK mm. because of our latitude or longitude. Mm. One of them, the one that goes up and down, Good. not round and round. Um, so we share, so we're always on the same time zone. Yeah. But then in France, you get on the train so and then you get off in the UK 25 minutes earlier than you got on <laughs> because of the time difference. It's very confusing. Yeah. yeah. So it was around eight o'clock. <laughs> So, so the the clock in the car. Eight a.m. Oh dear me! Our yeah. phones change automatically when they click through providers, so that Good always boy. worked. So you left your watch and the clock in the car. We left on Portuguese UK time, so that we always at least knew what both time zones were. And we just made when it we more got confusing. into the UK, yeah. everything synced back up. It did, though. That's true. That's, it does sync back up again <clears> from <throat> Portugal. Yeah, yeah, it does, doesn't it? It goes, oh, you're yeah. back into... Yeah, it syncs up eventually. It takes a couple of days of a bit, kind of, what time is it? But that was the mistake we nearly made when we went to Spain because we lost... Yeah, because time. we lost an hour, which then put us... Oh, we might miss the ferry now because we've lost that hour from Portugal to Spain. Yeah. It's all very confusing yeah but it works fine and we did it and yeah that was it it was really straightforward so straightforward compared to um the ferry mm. i thought yeah, yeah absolutely but mainly as, as i've said before mainly that oh don't get stressy no what you get stressy for max <laughs> but mainly because we were in control of it really weren't we yeah, yeah, yeah. which was really good and the car Much. did I'm much gonna... more pleasant and it's much more the way that we prefer to travel i think so share the driving stop when we're tired stop when we're hungry yeah stop when it. we need to it's on our time scales not always be you have to rush to get to this destination yeah, it's a bit and then just mad. like wait because there's a because you know, they an want ongoing you to. journey yeah because, yeah. Yeah. yeah the same as flying as well it's, it's it is exactly yeah flying's a bit faffy too isn't it from that perspective yeah, yeah. but no it works really well it did work yeah. really well yeah yeah. 
So we got here. So we got here. I think what uh, I I early evening on the Wednesday. So yep. early Afternoon, evening, still fully daylight. We've yeah. driven all the way from the south coast right up to the northeast of England. Yeah, that was straightforward. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty easy. Yeah. Um, so we've been there about a week. Yeah. So that's where we are. So we've applied for a few jobs. Yeah. We've had a look, which nothing's happened yet, uh, as far as those are concerned. Um, Starting to lose a little bit of confidence. But I think we'll be okay. I don't know. Well, I had an interview yesterday, which was good. I uh, went for the for the interview and they said, oh, well, we haven't got any jobs at the moment. I was like, okay. Why have you invited me Why for Why have you invited me for an interview? Oh, because somebody at a different office um, sent me. Organised it. Organised it. Doesn't matter. We're going to get yeah. there. We've only been here a week. But we have had look. We've looked at the work that needs doing on the house. We're getting yep. some quotes, which is all great news. Yeah. Uh, we had a quote this morning, just about. Well, we haven't just had a quote we yet. Sat down, yeah. We <clears> someone a, came to do a survey. Didn't he's done they? a survey of the roof. So um, that was the second, second or third. That was the third survey. I think we've had three people. I can't remember. Yeah. Because we've also had somebody yes. in for plumbing as well, haven't we? To yeah, sort out sure. some plumbing work. Elaine's been to B and Q, which is dun, our. Dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> our DIY do-it-yourself shop uh, where we yeah. can buy all sorts of stuff uh, we've bought some flooring for upstairs yes. so, so the bathroom itself is fully yeah almost fully back in commission I mean yeah. they could still use the bath and yeah, the toilet yeah, yeah. and the hand sink everything was still yeah. fully working it just looked like a disaster zone <clears throat> so I'm gonna let Max out okie doke I'll carry on yeah um, yes so what did I do um, when we originally did the bathroom we put a new bathroom suite in and the bath has quite a strange shape because it's quite large and it has a bow on one side uh, on. which is lovely so it means you can lie at either end <clears throat> and the tap is in the middle but because I got it on a deal it didn't come with a bath panel on the front so oh. I had to make one so I got tongue and groove and <laughs> made it so that because you've got flex in your tongue and groove made the bath panel out of tongue and groove which looked yeah, really good really didn't good, it yeah um but the plumber had to like boom take bash it all that out. out to get under the bath and yeah. sort out the issue it wasn't the original bad. the issue with the bathroom was the a leak on the one of the taps or both of the taps or something with the taps were leaking we think there were a few leaks there to be honest yeah, yeah. took him so, a while took the plumber a while to find where the leak was coming from hence wrecking the whole, the bath, whole bathroom the whole bathroom to see yeah. why yeah where the water is coming from the yes, bathroom into the kitchen where the, yes yeah. because of that that led him to believe it was the hand basin yeah so he ripped everything out from the hand basin and went oh well that's all fine <laughs> let's move on to the next so yeah, yeah anyway so i've put down a new floor yep you have. Um, it's in really good. the bathroom yeah. and i've got i've managed to salvage the majority of the tongue and groove yeah. i've had it all sanded down repainted it all and i just have to put that back in place today so right. i've got new screws and what have you just all of our electrical tools and everything yeah, are all in portugal all in, obviously yeah, yeah. so but it's okay but we've got a screwdriver and we've got a saw and all you need. We've, I've got brothers who can lend us things if if you need them. If bigger things are needed. But yeah. But um, yeah. So the kids were quite. Oh my God! We've got a floor back in the bathroom. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Makes so, a difference. And it's. I mean, they've only been without it for a couple of weeks. You know, as soon as we yeah. realised that happened, uh, we said, "Oh well, this, this is why this has all been a little bit quick." Um, you know how we yeah, we, much. we thought we might we thought we might come to the UK March April. Yes, when it wasn't like, so cold. When it wasn't so cold, etc. But that's had to be brought forward because of that. Other issues. Because of yeah. the other issues, the leak, etc. So we said, oh, right, we better go straight away. Because the things are starting to deteriorate a little bit quicker. Than... <laughs> it sounded like it was falling down around their ears and we weren't yeah. going to have a house to come back to. Yeah, it wasn't. But it's just because you're not there and you can't see it, yeah. then it feels... It I mean, feels it, dramatic, and yeah. and I was like panicked with mother's guilt. Of, yeah, 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 yeah. And so. it was it wasn't brilliant, but it's okay now that we're here. Yeah, we can kind of get that uh, get it sorted, get it organised. And we have, we have, as I say, you have mostly. Yeah. yeah, we're getting there. We're getting it sorted, and we're getting quotes in for the roof. So things are starting to fall into place. We're looking for jobs. Things are not quite looking into place at the moment, but still reasonably confident. There are jobs out there. Yeah, it's just getting them. That's yeah that's the little thing so so yeah it's it's not as bad as it sounds no. it's just like me having 
mother's guilt and and thinking I've left them to deal with situations that I haven't equipped them for in life but um, they they got a plumber in themselves they were very mm. um, proactive so yeah and I think the the other good thing as I said we had the roofer a gentleman came about half an hour or so ago and um, has talked a little bit about the roof it doesn't sound as much of a disaster as we thought it was potentially yeah, it's odd that isn't it somebody comes out and goes Ooh. oh i need to get that reply this is yeah i want to this is something we need to talk about honestly because <laughs> i think you can so easily be a little bit duped into things here mm. and i think this is the worry and yeah we've had the first person the first person that we got well okay start again four people we've had on the roof so far four people one person he's a window cleaner he's repaired it okay we'll put that to one side we did that because we we're in portugal and we just needed a quick repair we don't know what to do we're in portugal we can't really fix it let's get a quick repair done on it and hopefully that'll sort it it kind of did kind of did, did. Yeah. yeah second person that's come in um, after that because it was still leaking you need a brand new roof it's going to cost you this amount of money end of story I've yeah. only spent one minute looking at it but you need a brand new roof like oh, wow whoosh, whoosh straight 12, away 12,000 pounds yeah although he quoted less but then that's yeah. a different story yeah but that's right yes he quoted less than that we can get it done for you very very quickly don't you worry about it it's going to cost you this amount of money seven thousand pounds oh yeah yeah. yeah the guy of portugal yeah, yeah. we were mm -hmm. like seven thousand pounds that's crazy without barely looking at it he barely just barely looked. got out of his car yeah barely yeah S person the other day when we were actually here um said yeah you need a new roof um absolutely need a new roof it's going to cost you twelve thousand pounds yeah for a new roof don't trust anybody who tells you it's going to be less than that. Don't trust anybody for they 7, won't have any scaffolding and that yeah. costs this. They won't pay VAT and that costs this. So they're dodgy, they're going to get themselves away. Yeah. yeah. It's it, it's you know, this is this is the absolute bare minimum that you should be paying. Yeah. And it's still Yeah. So he quoted 12,000 and he was genuine. In all honesty, he was genuine. Uh, he said, no, this is it. He said, 2,000 of that is value-added tax. 2,000 of that goes to the government. We can't, yeah. yeah, fair enough. Crazy, that. yeah. So that was 12,000. So our quote so far was, we could just bodge job it for nothing. <laughs> 7,000, 12,000. Although he did manage to say, well, I can cut off can't make a few yeah. adjustments with size here we can maybe knock that down a little and bit because of the shape of your roof i might be able to shave a little bit off shave a bit off each square end. footage yeah that was square it. square meterage square Sorry, meterage yeah so that price from 12 did go down a bit but still quite scary fella this morning um don't worry about it we can fix it the roof is at the end of its life or coming to the end of its life but we can elongate that quite a lot he says with these roofs so it probably doesn't even need a new roof now um as far as we're concerned as the, far as we're concerned yeah. yeah because we are now in this kind of bit of predicament as we don't really know where or what to do yeah and i think uh -huh. before we even owned the house i don't think anything had been done to it it was everybody's telling us it's the absolute original oh it's roof, the original roof yeah um, from when yeah. the houses were built and we think that's somewhere between 1930 and 1950 50. yeah a guy so, did explain it to me but yeah um, yeah yeah so an original roof the we're, we're a tiny little street there's six houses in our little street mm. um and four of us are linked together and we're one of those end links the and end, then there's yeah. two um sort of a little gap um down Just, the yeah. down the way yeah. and mm, more than half no half have had new roofs put on already so yeah that they were all built at the same time mm. they're all coming to the end of their working life at the same time yeah seems and to be yeah which is fair comment it's fair comment yeah I mean, it's, it's, yeah i mean if it's the 1930s then that's 100 that's practically 100 years old you know yeah. why it's not far for, off is it for wooden trusses and yes so I yeah but this guy that came this morning very much um had all of the paperwork he was you know he's got the insurances he wears the jacket with his name on you know with the company name on the company logo they have been working for a long time they've got all of the 
what are they called when they get the letters against their their names you know qualifications yeah uh, I can't think what the word is but qualifications works they got all of those things yeah um, I was going to say accolades. I can't think. You become a <laughs> member of a society. Oh, that, like the a Roy trusted. Yeah, the trusted, trusted royal society for yeah that type of thing. Trusted yeah. tradespeople. So he's he's got, got insurance all of those. to back his work. So yeah, so it may well be a case of that. Now yeah. we are looking at options and seeing what the options are available for us, really, and then yeah, yeah. And just so we may be looking at a big repair as opposed to a quick. I can. Good look yeah, on your roof, like yeah. a little whippersnapper, and put yeah. a bit of mess on. Yeah. Okay. The camera just ran out. The camera just <laughs> ran out of time. It can only record for thirty minutes. Yeah. So we so, obviously talked for far too long. Yeah. You'll have so, to do a bit of chopping down. That's okay. Yeah. Well, I don't think we have talked. For <laughs> and the sun's just coming round. I'm getting blinded now. Oh, okay. Um, yes, so that's where we are at the moment. Is As that I where say, we are? Yeah, yeah. It feels like it's been months since we sat down and talked two years. It feels a bit weird. And we've probably just gone, there you go, have yeah. all of that stuff. That's what it feels like for me as well. I was like, we could just sit down and have a little chat. Yeah. And, but so and much from going. like a, a life perspective as well, yeah. coming. Yeah. We haven't even got on to like getting back yeah. into the UK. We'll no, cover that on the next thing. But from a, yeah. from a family perspective, um, sorry, I'm just getting blinded. Do you want me to go and close That's the okay. Um, we've now lived for like nearly 18 months, just the two of us, just living on our own time scale, getting to grips, thank you, with um, a new life. And <laughs> we thought it might, well, I, I can't speak for you because we haven't talked about this either. <clears throat> We, we talk to you guys <laughs> more than we talk to us. Than we talk to us. <laughs> um, yeah, things like this is where it all even... comes out in front of the camera. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> things that anyway, you hadn't even contemplated. Yeah. So we're now back in our family home, which I'm saying our family home, but it's literally because our family live here. Yeah. But before we came to Portugal, this was never really our family home. So we sold our big family house to yeah. clear our debts. Hmm. And the proceeds of that bought this small place. So there would always be a place for Jade and Matthew. Yeah. And so we never really lived here. No, not really. Even though we did... Stay, stay here, here and yeah. lived yeah. here for like 18 months two years mm. um so it, it is quite odd mm. so in in a lot of respects they welcome us with open arms mm. but we're actually interlopers now <laughs> in their lives which is probably very strong yeah, because they they have word. got their own lives you, ha you have your kids and you look after them when they're small you give them skills to build people around them who are positive and going to be good for them you know to make good choices but then that's so that you can get on and then live your own life and they can live their life i'm not one of these mums that yeah. always wants them tied to my apron strings because that's not fair on them i don't want that hmm. i want them to experience life and live life and go out and meet people and which is what they've been doing what they've been doing yeah so now we've like snuck back in ah. and i feel like roles have reversed and um they, they all work so they all have like their routines and matthew and his partner work in the hospitality industry so they can be starting work early in the morning hmm. or they can be like this morning having a lie in because they work late at night. Mm -hmm. um, Jade, Jade chooses to do her shifts of work early in the morning and then she finishes kind of midday yeah. so that she's got the rest of the day to go off and do yeah. all of the activities that she loves to do. And it means that the house doesn't have a set routine. So there's not like everybody gets up and has breakfast and goes off to work and then oh, comes yeah. back and has dinner yeah. so we've sometimes found ourselves going to bed at eight o'clock yeah because the children need to yeah because yeah. that's what the house that's what's happening in the house yeah. everybody's getting up at like 4 a.m or 6 a.m mm. 
and so yeah it's, it's been a bit odd and that's one thing that I hadn't factored into let's go back and sort the roof out and sort mm. the house out and get jobs and we haven't so we might be even more contributing to that if we're successful in getting jobs which we need to yeah do. yeah that's it isn't it I think that's the thing it's a bit there's just a lot yeah it's, it's, it's a lot to kind of uh, work through I suppose at the moment but and it's still very new so yeah well, you know this is what Matthew hasn't said even been two weeks. our son Matthew said keep that going, oh well he's calm down calm you down know. you've only you haven't even been here a week we didn't expect <laughs> you to come in and get a job and fix yeah. the roof and you've only been here a week so they've been really lovely and um, obviously and it's kind of like um, it's just a bit it's just a bit mad I suppose we're thinking about all sorts of things and uh, I suppose that's where the problem is isn't it yeah you know I suppose that's where the problem is just a lot of stuff to kind of not only to think about but they have to all fit into their own little slots in the right order as well to a certain extent yeah you know things have to cut they can't just we can't just fit that into a slot because other things have to come before it maybe you know yeah. things like that and we can't just come in and go okay everything's going to work to our time schedule no that's right because we're now the at the bottom of the pecking yeah we're interlopers we're at the bottom of the pecking order yeah. so I, we had the stuff to get the bathroom done and i wanted yeah. to go and get it done but then it's okay what's everybody's schedule for the next day or two yeah. um that's fine and and yeah. that's how we and it's only a couple of days or whatever it might yeah. be so it's not a big thing and it kind of works itself out in the end mm -hmm. yeah yeah, so I suppose that's it. I can't think of anything else. But you talk. We just we've talked enough. <laughs> we've talked enough. <laughs> Sorry. We were kind of like we don't really know what to tell the people, and then we've come <laughs> have on. We've got anything to say? We haven't, and we really, haven't shut up, have we? We haven't got anything to say really because it's all just been a bit, as we've said. Yeah. But there we are. Yeah. So I think it's been that's, nice. Yeah, it's been really nice to kind of talk catch to you up. to catch up, and I think, yeah. I was just, I don't know what I was even going to say there. Probably just going to say exactly the same stuff all over again. Yeah, don't. <laughs> We've talked enough. So, I'm going to pull it to a close. Oh, yeah? I am. Oh, I was enjoying myself. Because <laughs> um, it's lunchtime. Oh, okay. And well, we've got plans to go out today. We have. We're going to go and do a bit of charity shop. This is one thing we can't do in Portugal. There isn't charity shops, is yeah, there? Like what do they call it in America? Thrift shops. Thrift shops. We're doing a bit of thrift. We're going to go and do some thrifting. Yeah. Something we quite enjoy. There's not a lot of stuff in them, but I just yeah, enjoy the Yeah, very hunt. poor. But that we'll talk about that in the oh, changes okay. that we've noticed <laughs> in the UK in the time. Yeah. So we'll okay. catch up with that on the next one. Yeah. So hopefully I'll get this one organised. This is get this video out for you guys uh, this evening yeah which will yep. be thurs thursday today yes it's thursday today yeah yes. so we, we thought it would be a perfect day to do because so we normally do our pips cast yeah normally not so much normally nowadays it's just just for you guys we're not putting this on the internet another thing we'll maybe talk about in the next video but yeah it's all yep. so hello our new patron oh yeah hello yeah i met <laughs> mary thank you yes <laughs> Um, Hi Mary Ann. We haven't put anything onto YouTube no. because we're choosing not to share everything yeah. with YouTube. If we can ask you to respect that mm. and thank you so much for joining us and welcome along. Yeah, that's it. You've joined the crazy gang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just don't know. I just kind of feel <laughs> it's that the, the YouTube thing's a very difficult one. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Just that's just a big, huge story in its whole self, really. And we're uh, not going to start down on that because we don't have another four hours to go. Yeah. So thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for sticking with us. Yeah. And we'll catch up on the next one. Yeah. Well done for remembering that. I remembered it. Yeah. We'll see you all soon. Soon. Yeah. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. <laughs>